Hey friends! So I am going to make a little tutorial on how to tie on, tie on? How to put on or tie your never take it off bracelets that I just bought. I am sorry the lighting is so yellow, but I am in my dining room. So I like wearing bracelets and the way that never take it off um, tells you to tie them on is by wrapping it around twice so you have three three cords, three strings, like this. One, two, three. Oh god. Okay. So the way that they have um, they have a tutorial on how to do it, but the way that they do it, I don't really like it. And um, on their tutorial, it's like, if you want to keep your strings together, buy our little, like, bracelet ring thing that, it's like a little brass ring and you, like, string your, the bracelet strings through it so that the, they don't, like, separate when they're on your wrist, um, and get tangled with your other ones if you're wearing a ton. However, I don't do that and my method seems to work just fine, so I will share that with everybody now. And it really helps if you have someone to help you, but if you don't, like me, forever alone, you can do it yourself. So first thing I wanna do, I'm gonna take off these bracelets because they are just in the way. And once I put all of my Never Take It Off bracelets on, I'm gonna retire my charm bracelets from my wrist. All right, so what you're gonna need are your Never Take It Off bracelets, a pair of scissors, a pen or a chapstick tube, depending on how loose or how tight you like the bracelet to fit, and clear nail polish. I didn't have clear, but I'm using pink glitter, which is just as good and more shiny and festive and girly. Okay, um, I will choose this one. Oops. I think this is like the beach or the sea one. So what, oh, I'm gonna take this off too. So right now I have two bracelets on right now. I have the first Never Take It Off bracelet that I tied on and another bracelet that I already had that I tied on in a similar fashion, but you can't see it because I hid it in the bead. All right, take your bracelet, you put it in your mouth, which is kind of gross because like the wax comes off in your mouth, but what can you do? And you wrap it around twice like this so that the bead is in the front and the tag is in the front too. And you have three cords. One, two, three. And then you take your ends. So what you're going to do is you hold them in your hand like this, or if your wrist is bigger than mine, which most people's are, you hold them in your mouth. But for the purposes of this, because I can't talk, I am going to hold them in my hand. So you take your pen, and then you put it under your bracelet, like so. And you kind of like jiggle it to where you want your, like how loose you want your bracelet. So after that, you have your pen, and this looks like a terrible death trap. You make sure that this and the knot are kind of in the middle, like right across from each other. And you're gonna tie your first knot with your mouth because this is just. Okay, so you wanna make sure it's like, if you're like really picky like me, that this knot and this middle piece are like directly um, parallel from each other. Now what you're gonna do, so you made one knot. You're gonna take your cord you're actually going to loop it under all of the strings.
and then you're going to tie it. And my pen fell out, so I'm just going to shove it back in there. And then you tighten it with your teeth. So now what you should have is, once you like jiggle it around with your pen, three strings that are all tied together with one knot, so none of them like start like going where they want to go. And just pull it tight with your tooth. So now you have this knot. Now you're going to take your nail polish with this still in there. I'm going to put a drop on the knot, which I don't know how to even do this. Okay. And then if you want to, you can loop this end through again. But you don't have to because you already looped it once. But if it makes you happy, do it again. And tie it again. And get wax in your teeth while you're doing this, by the way. And if the string's long enough, you can put it in your hand. You don't need your mouth, but I'm going to use my teeth. Then you take it out, and you have your knot, and just make sure it's not, like, too tight. At this point, it's a little late because you put nail polish on it. It's fine. You should have, like, a finger space. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to straighten out this knot. You're going to take your scissors, and you're just going to cut the cord, not at the knot, but a little bit like before the knot, which is a little tricky. So right about here. So I'm kind of leaving like a fourth of an inch, like that, or a little shorter. And please don't cut yourself, because that would be stupid. Okay, once the nail polish dries, so you have this like little like string things, it's like really annoying and I hate that. Once the nail polish dries, or when it's like almost dry so it can stick things together, you're going to take it and you're going to roll the knot between your fingers. And then the ends of the bracelet should just stick and get rolled into the wax cord. Now usually with wax cord, I would actually do something very unsafe that involves fire that I won't show because that's stupid and self, like, just, no. It's just reckless self-endangerment and I'm not about to promote that to people under the age of 18, so we're just not going to do that. So we're just gonna do the safe way. But if you are over the age of 18 and would like to use fire to seal your wax cord, please do so. Feel free. Um, you're responsible for yourself at that age, really. So here we go. I actually tied them so like the tag is on the same side. I didn't mean to do that, but that's just how it ended up.